In this video, we'll talk about a new feature in Nerdia Manager for WVD, starting with version 2.6. Uh, that's another enhancement that, that helps your WVD deployment uh, to be completely automated and save you as much money as possible uh, in various different ways. And that is the ability to detect and automatically deallocate VMs that are in stopped state, but are not deallocated. So as all of you are familiar, in Azure, there are multiple states that a VM can be in. It could be running, which means it's powered on and consuming resources and costing you money. It could be stopped and deallocated, which means that the VM is powered off and is deallocated. It is not available for use, um, and it is not costing you any compute resources. And there is an intermediate state called stopped but not deallocated, which means the VM is effectively turned off, uh, but it is still costing you money because it is not deallocated from the Azure perspective. Now, how can a VM get into that state? And that's really simple. If you have a user on, <clears throat> on a session host desktop and the user has admin rights or have the ability to shut down the VM from within the operating system. If the user were to shut down their VM from the start menu in Windows, that VM would end up in a stop state, but it would be non-deallocated, which means it would still cost the organization money. And the VM is really providing no benefit because it's not running, but at the same time, it's costing money. And we've heard requests from customers to be able to detect that situation and remediate it automatically by deallocating that VM. So let's take a quick look. So let's go into our workspace and take a look at this host pool. And if we were to refresh the status of this VM, we would see that this VM is currently in kind of this error state. Now let's see why that is. If we click on it, it will open it up in Azure. And in Azure, we'll notice that the VM is in a stopped state. And you'll see both the start button and the stop button are available. This is the state that I'm referring to where the VM is stopped but not deallocated. It is currently spinning the compute meter and costing the organization money. And by default, uh, the VM would just stay in that state, but Nerdio Manager can be configured to detect that situation and automatically stop those VMs. This is configured by going to the properties and then VM deployment page on the host pool. This is a host pool by host pool setting and checking this box that says deallocate powered off, but not deallocated VMs. And this will automatically scan the environment inside of this host pool that are VMs associated with this host pool for such a situation and stop those VMs automatically. So let's go ahead and click OK. And that VM will then be uh, stopped when it is detected that it's not deallocated. So again, just another feature to help you save money and automate WVD as much as possible. Take care and see you in the next video.